Hi Virgo, thanks for joining me. This is your astrology for 2016. The year starts off really well for you because Jupiter, the lucky planet of good fortune, is in your first house of self, in your sign of Virgo. So this is going to be a year of really feeling very, very certain within yourself, feeling that if you take uh, action that you get what it is you want, feeling like if you're yourself and you don't put on a mask or a facade and you just put yourself out there the way you really are, you're really going to benefit and you're going to have a lot of success. So the first house is the house of self-empowerment. It's, it's where you sit, where, what you're really like. And Jupiter is growth and expansion. So your inner sense of self, your sense of self-esteem, your sense of confidence is really going to grow and go to the next level. In October 2016, Jupiter moves on into your second house of finance and belonging. So you'll notice that the end of the year is really, really positive for you financially. Saturn is the planet of scrutiny and restriction, and that sits in your fourth house of family for the duration of the year. Saturn is in Sagittarius, and it's been in that sign since the 18th of September 2015. And what that will mean is it will question, or you will question your goals, in your relationships you know what do I want to achieve with this relationship do I want to have a positive relationship with my brother my sister do I want to get married to my girlfriend my boyfriend what are the goals here and you're going to get quite serious about what you want to achieve I think you're going to be less willing to just live day to day when it comes to your relationship your relationships plural and you'll want some answers and you'll want to create some meaning in that area of your life Pluto is in the fifth house of romance and children, and that's in Capricorn. Pluto can be seen as kind of the phoenix rising from the ashes because it represents such great change. And Capricorn is the, the, the sign of the worker, the person who really applies themselves to create something to get things done. So what that means is you'll get a, a sense of wanting to shift things for the better in your personal most intimate relationships if you're in a relationship and the kind of fire of passion has really gone out you'll really feel kind of driven to work at that and to bring it back in if you're single i see that you'll have the energy to put yourself out there to find a relationship that you're looking for and to really get that sense of passion and enthusiasm going again it also means that if a relationship isn't working and it's become really difficult and it's just consistently dragged you down, I think you'll find the strength to put an end to that and to say there's something better, bigger, more positive out there for me if I choose it. Neptune, the planet of dreams and aspirations, is in your seventh house of relationships in general. And what that means is that you'll really be able to use your imagination about the kind of relationship you could have and how you could improve your relationships and what you can ultimately end up with in your relationship life. So that's really lovely because you'll really be able to dream and use your imagination and that kind of gets you out of that narrow kind of, you know, sometimes really limiting sense of what you have in your life already. Because you can always strive for more, you can always strive to improve things. Uranus is in Aries in your eighth house of institutions and other people and this is a real sense of strength and it really corresponds with Jupiter in your first house because Virgo, you're going to have a real sense of I know what I'm doing, I'm right, I want to achieve certain things and I'm, I have the energy and the power and the confidence to go after them. So you will really be able to get things done, especially in connection and in opposition to other people. So it's a great year to be promoted, to really put yourself in a position of being a leader to really step into the spotlight and into your own power. It's a really great time to come into your own. Now, for you, um, Virgo, the best thing here is spirituality and growth. Because of that Jupiter in your first house, you'll really notice that you're progressing by leaps and bounds. Career and finance is also going to be very good, finance in particular. And the thing you just need to look out for is your health and your fitness, okay? If you want to maintain that energy, be aware of what you're putting in your body. Have a look at your exercise regime. Are you doing enough there? Are you, you know, getting enough exercise on a day-to-day -day basis? I think you're pretty 
up to date with that kind of thing anyway, but just make sure you keep an eye on it so you keep your, your energy up. I hope you have a wonderful 2016. If you're interested in much more detailed monthly forecasts, then please have a look at my monthly predictions here on the YouTube channel. I go into a lot more depth. Subscribe to the channel to be notified when those come out. And if you'd like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab and you'll see the types of readings that I offer. Have a great year and I'll speak to you soon.